Hi guys, it's Miss Ashley, and I've got a fun craft for us to do because it's Easter! Yay! How exciting! So, um, I've got a question for you. Do you think that this paper flashlight will be able to light up this picture? I don't know. It's a little bit of trickery. Huh? Whoa. Today we're going to be making these awesome optical illusion pictures. Let's get started. So for this craft we're using black paper, a Ziploc bag large size, and two sheets of white paper. So I'm also going to use some scissors and kind of a bunch of different color sharpies. The first thing I'm going to do is look at my bag. I want to make sure it's pointing upside down so the opening is at the bottom. Now I can place my paper in and if there's any logo make sure it's to the back of the bag. So I'm going to start doing my drawing. Now this is kind of like a resurrection Easter morning drawing. <laughs> so I've got an empty tomb that I'm drawing right now and I'm gonna just outline it in black first. So I'm gonna make the door entryway all black. Now I'm doing the stone that was rolled away next to it. Now I'm kind of doing the ground. This is about a quarter the way up on the drawing. And I'm going to do a little pat coming. Now you guys can be creative and come up with whatever you'd like on your drawing. I added a little bit of grass and I've kind of made this like a cave. So there's some little rock behind. Now I was looking into fig trees because I wanted to put a few fig trees into the drawing. And so these little fig trees are coming out the side here. And those are the branches. I'm going to do one more fig tree coming out. Now this is pretty detailed. With these kind of optical illusion drawings, you can add a lot of cool things. My girls wanted to add like little secret things that they had to find, um, hidden items in the picture to make it even cooler. So whatever you're thinking, um, it's going to show up with the flashlight. So it's kind of exciting. I'm adding a couple little flowers and some grass. But like I said, you can put whatever you want there. Now I'm going to do some rolling hills behind the tomb, the cave. So that's the rolling hills and the big hill in the background is going to be um, where the crucifixion took place. So we've got three empty crosses I'm going to have right there in the background. Now, um, like I said, you can pick whatever you want. I had my girls putting people in their drawing and I think that's cool too. So this is the sunrise and I made sure to add the sun there. So I'm going to take my brown sharpie and do the items that I think are going to be brown. So I've got the, out, the door to the tomb, uh, the branches um, on the trees, just like that, the trunk. And I've got my green marker. Now I've got a light green marker to do some of the grass and I'm going to fill in my grass. This part takes a little bit of time, but um, it has a really cool effect. So I'm going to color my flowers. I used an orange marker to color them, but you can use whatever you want. And the green part of my fig trees, I'm going to use my darker green marker. Now just use the markers you've got. You can come up with anything. I'm actually going to do my path, this kind of light orange color, because that's the color marker I had. And I'm going to do the hill 
behind the tomb, this green color. So I'm gonna leave the tomb white. I didn't have a gray marker, and I thought maybe it could just be white. Now for the hill with the crosses on it, I wanted this hill to stand out a little bit more, so I'm gonna have a few different layers of color. I started with my yellow and a little bit of light green on the sides. I'm gonna take my darker green and just kind of um, put it right on the edges, just like this. So it's kind of a focal point of the drawing. Now it looks so different with the white marker, I mean, sorry, the white paper, but when we put the black paper in, it's gonna be a totally different drawing. So I've used an orange color from my sun. And now for the sunrise, I'm going to add a few different layers of color. Now I didn't take my black marker to separate these. I'm just kind of using the colors I have and progressively getting darker and brighter um, like a sunrise. The whole sky isn't awake yet, so we're using pink and orange, and I've got kind of a burgundy color I'm gonna use for my last color. So I'm just filling it in, and this part honestly takes a little bit of time, but once you're done, you're good to go. Okay, so now I can take out my white piece of paper. I'm gonna add my black piece of paper. Now the drawing looks quite different, right? It's very dark. Um, so now I'm gonna take an extra piece of white paper and it's time to make my flashlight. Now for my flashlight, you can use a ruler. I just kind of eyeballed it and drew a few lines, a little curve line on the bottom and a curve line on the top. And for the light, it's very important that you keep the, where the flashlight is shining, that light area white. Anything else you wanna make with your flashlight, you can do it any color you want, any design. My girls put hearts on their flashlights. One of them drew people on her flashlight and one made it like a rainbow flashlight, which is super cool too. I'm just gonna make mine this orangey red color, kind of like an emergency flashlight. I see those sometimes are very bright. <laughs> so I'm using my orange and coloring it all. And uh, I'm actually gonna take um, my pink marker and on the sides go over it. This kind of just adds a little bit of definition. I'm gonna make my switch black and it's time to cut out my flashlight. Your magical flashlight for this illusion. <laughs> I made it long enough that it can reach pretty much all the parts of my drawing. Okay, now it's time to put it in. You wanna make sure the flashlight slides over the black paper. And now you can see all the hidden parts of your drawing. The empty tomb, the cross hill, the sunrise. <laughs> well, I would love to see your work, guys. I hope you had fun. Happy Easter, bye.